Hi, I'm Sharon Bell with the Baynet, and with me today is Matt Morgan. He is with the General Assembly, State of Maryland, House of Delegates, District 29A. How are you today, Matt? Doing great, great. Thank great. you for having me. With everything that's going on with transportation, do you okay. think that um, our region has actually received enough transportation funds? Well, we never receive enough. <laughs> There's always infrastructure funds that we, we need. It's right. just uh, you're competing with the rest of the state. I can tell you that um, there's been more projects going on now than I can remember in recent memory. Um, up in the northern part of uh, St. Mary's County, uh, I think just about every state highway has been repaved over the last three Actually, or four years. Actually, it's looking good. Yeah, I mean, the roads are in way better condition. We're, mm -hmm. um, and then you look at uh, actual projects. I mean, we've completed the roundabout there in Clements. Yes. And I think a lot of people like that, and it's hopefully improving the quality of life with people able to mm -hmm. get back home. Uh, you can go around the circle now instead yeah. of stopping. <laughs> we got a couple other uh, projects that we've completed, uh, two in Charles County, which is all intents and purposes St. Mary's County projects. So there was a bridge replacement on Route 6, one on 234. Um, many St. Mary's County residents use those roads. And um, we were able to procure the um, the expansion project at Abel Moakley Road through Leonardtown, which has right. been a historically really, really dangerous uh, spot of Route 5, and we've needed that for decades, and that's underway. I saw they removed the house, uh, you know, a month ago or so, and and uh, excavation on that project is right. uh, going on there. And don't forget, as a region, I mean, we received the replacement of the Harry Nice Bridge on Route 301, exactly. and that's on track for uh, replacement by 2023. That's a huge project that we've needed as That's a region a big for a project. while. But yeah, there's always more um, work to be done in, in that aspect. And um, I'm very always weary of a lot of money. You know, the bulk of the money that goes into the Transportation Trust Fund is paid by rural area, area Marylanders like ourselves. Uh, it's, it's gas tax, it's a vehicle registration. And you always have to have a watchful eye over that and make sure the bulk of that money is not being transferred over to mass transit who doesn't pay right. in, into that fund as, as much as they probably should. Anything on repealing the uh, O'Malley tax credit or O'Malley taxes that, uh, on, on gas? Uh, on gas. So yeah. uh, we've both, uh, both myself and Delegate Ray, have taken cracks at that. And uh, the problem, the, it's just a philosophical difference. If, if somebody wants to raise your ta taxes, I think a politician has to stand there and justify it and take a vote. And that automatic tax increase goes up every year because it's connected to CPI. No, right. And it only moves in one dire direction. If there's ever a deduction in CPI, there's no metric in the le uh, legislation ever to lower it. And you're starting to see us getting almost disjointed with um, neighboring states. Because there's a lot of residents, you know, it's interesting. You go right across the Harry Nice Bridge over into exactly. Dahlgren, and you, you drive through that Walmart parking lot on a Saturday or Sunday morning, and there's a lot of Maryland tags there. Right. And they go over there, they shop, they fill up. It's, you know, sometimes 20 to 30 cents cheaper. So it's something that we need to really take a look at uh, going forward and, and, and make some headway there. Um, yeah. That tax does not need to be going up. Right, should uh, go in the opposite direction. And, right, yeah. every single year. So exactly. um, if a politician or somebody has a, a transportation project they need, they should sit there and have to justify it to the voters. Is there anything else that you would like to uh, tell our viewers? Um, yeah, come out and vote uh, November 6th this year. Um, absolutely, You're, let your voices be heard. Like I said, every election is a catalyst for the ideas and the uh, solutions and the visions for the year to come. So it's our chance to come out and tell us what, what we've done good, and hopefully the voters will reward us with another four years. Okay. And, um, you know, just come out and vote. Well, great. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate um, it. Again, I'm Sharon Bell with the Baynet, and this is Matt Morgan, General Assembly, House of Delegates, District 29A. If you have any questions, you can email elections at thebaynet.com. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to get out and vote.